Well, what's going on everyone? So today I decided to come back here to the creek to uh, knock down the dams since the uh, county's taking so long to do it. But let me show y'all the dam. Right straight ahead is, is where is that? They built a little pond back here. So there is the one dam, there it is. And if you got, there it is. There you go, my friends. So I'm gonna get off the camera here, bust this thing down, get it flowing. So yeah, all right. So here is a closer view of the dam. Now it's not a big one, but it's a small one. But uh, back here doing it. So here's another general look of what the dam is. Pretty crazy. Because the main portion of the creek down there, all this is flooded up. So I'm trying to break all this stuff down as much as I possibly can. It's very thick. As you can see, side walls of it, blocking in all that water. It's gonna be fun. I definitely built them a little pool, for sure. You can see the little footprints everywhere. Now I know I said I wasn't gonna do any more beaver updates, but this was one that uh, needs to be done, I think. <laughs> But anyway, let me get back into this. All right, guys. Broke down the dam. Part of it. So I got this little bit here to do. Uh, and uh, shortly the county come in and finish the rest. I, I have seen the den. The den is straight there. Way back there. See the pile of rocks, uh, pile of sticks and all that running around the tree. Uh, I can't. There. So right there where you see that tree right over there. Hard to see it over here, but there is the den over there. But it's rushing out of here. We're gonna finish this up before I little <laughs> run out of way to get back to uh, back up front. Alright. Well, my friends, very eventful day getting back there and finding the main dam, busting a hole in it. Now, I, I tried to clear out as much as I possibly could with what I had with me. Uh, you know, I had a, a hoe and uh, this uh, fork, like kind of like a pitchfork kind of thing. I was using that to pull out the sticks and stuff like that and busting a hole in it. Now, I could not get it all done because, uh, you know, I got that top layer portion down, but getting down a little deeper that was an issue because they piled a lot of sticks and logs and a bunch of mud and grass down in there uh, along with sand as well uh, so they they really packed it very hard down there and uh, you know I could only pull so much what I could out of there but uh, I did get you know busting you know I did bust the dam down so uh, the water did come out or started going out really actually very fast um, but uh I want to get back there again to kind of give it a check and see if did the beaver guy get all the beavers so uh, I want to check that so I'm gonna get that probably another day or two uh, or maybe next week actually and uh, get back there and see if they built back so that's that would be my indication that okay he's tracked all the beavers there's no beavers back there but it was it's just amazing when I got back there. Now, uh, I had to enter from right here where my, uh, uh, hang on. <laughs> so I had to enter right in here. Actually, right here is where I entered at, all right? And I put the boat out, which uh, I'm gonna take a look at, let's show you the boat, let's switch the camera around. So luckily my neighbor had a 12 foot John boat, a little aluminum boat. Very lightweight, very easy to, to, to maneuver around. 
So I put in right here and I had to paddle my way down this channel. Now, when I got to where you see that tree right there, there's two big trees that got blown over during the hurricanes in the past years. Uh, we're laying across, so I had to pick up the, the boat, bring it over the, <laughs> over the trees, and then I got into the main part, and I was just blown away with how it looked, because I have been here all my life. I've gone back to these woods many, many times as kids, uh, as a kid there, and uh, you know, the, the, the creek was only like, like six foot wide, all right? Well, back there, it was a pond. Uh, literally a pond my friends <laughs> so uh, and seeing the dam was a uh, sighting and also a little bit scary because yeah, I just did not know what was going to be back there um, and then I you know of course I also I said that I found the den which is about a hundred yards away from the actual main dam and uh, but it gave me a good uh, it was a good you know good thing I did go back there because I got a good look at the overall view of back there uh, knowing where the water was running and stuff like that. Uh, so, for instance, right here. Now, usually there is no water right in this general area. There's like a small island kind of thing right there and a hump right there from a tree. One of these trees has got a big root system going across it. Uh, so, usually there's no water over here. But with all that flooding, you know, it flooded over. Now, you can see the water has dropped tremendously. Like my pipe is out out of the ground or out it's not underwater anymore so it has dropped a lot so that's good but i did find out that this stream part right here will run down and it gets down to the end there and it forks off so it goes left and then goes right well this part right here when it turned right it actually went right in front of their dam and uh they did block it up a little bit but i uh i tore it down and uh you know it wasn't that bad it's just a couple of little logs they put there and a little bit of mud but not too bad but uh anyway i got that up that freed up so uh it's really cool did great it was fun fun time back there but uh <laughs> Uh, you know, I wasn't really sure I was going to do this. I mean, I had a couple obstacles right here, a couple, uh, that big log. Uh, either they, I think they brung that up here because it wasn't here. I think I did a video on that one day. Um, that log was not there and it was in the water and I had to move that out of the way. There was another big branch across it. I had to move that out the way and uh, get back there. It was smooth sailing the rest of the way. So uh, it was good to travel around and uh, see that back portion. But anyway... That is it. Now, I know I wasn't going to, I told y'all I wasn't going to do any more uh, updates on this, on the beaver issue, uh, because it did upset a few people or somebody, <laughs> but, um, but I feel like, you know, today I had to do this. I had to, I had to do an update, uh, update <laughs> on it, because uh, it was an experiment, or in a, not an experiment, but it was a, um, what's the word I'm trying to look for it was a uh, I can't think of the word it was a, a exploring or adventure I guess you want to say to get back there and just to see firsthand uh, because I haven't been able to get back there the the beaver guy and the county guy are the ones that gotten back there and I decided that I wanted to try it so let's see what happens so yeah well my friends if you watch this video, thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> hopefully, this gave you an insight of uh, what's going on back there and stuff at first hand sight. But it was definitely something. So, and uh, this is also a test to see if there is any more beavers. If the beaver guy did catch all the beavers as well, since I bust a hole in the dam. Uh, is there any more he gave us the clear last time we was out here uh but we'll see i'm gonna, like i said i'm gonna give it a few days uh then i'll try to get back there maybe the water will go down a little bit more so uh, i can actually just walk on the land and not have to carry the boat with me and stuff like that because uh it might be a little bit of a job to to do that but anyway
<laughs> I'm trying to hear and see if anything, any activities going on back there, but I didn't see any beavers. Talking about the little furry four-legged, you know, wood chopping little things back there. I didn't see none of those back there while I was there. Uh, usually that's, you know, when you're coming to their main dam, they get very territorial, I guess you want to say. Uh, so I didn't see anything back there, so that might be a good sign. But like I said, give it a few days and see what's going on. And uh, so we'll go from there. So there you go, my friends. So hope that you like this video. If you did, smash that thumbs like button. Please hit that thumbs like button. Comment down below. Let me hear what you think about what you saw in the video. Uh, I would love to hear that. I would love to see what you guys say about it. All that good stuff. And uh, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. It's not going to be all about you know beaver update videos. A lot of people said I should change the name to the you know the channel to Beaver RC Whistler or Beaver RC Beaver Channel or <laughs> RC uh, Beaver Basher or something. I don't know. <laughs> A lot of different things came up on that part. But anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see y'all later.